What's up? I'm your host, Jolie Live. What's up? I'm Taylor Feltz, singer, songwriter, musician, and I'm ready to play Pucker Up. Woo! Hello, I'm Taylor. I'm so excited. Oh my god. How do you feel looking at the candy? I feel like this is a breeze. Oh, and okay. I'm gonna I'm okay. gonna <laughs> I'm gonna just say that and manifest it and you know it's a breeze and then I'm gonna be dying by the end, I feel. Yeah. But I love sour stuff. I'm a big sweet tooth, I'm a big sour tooth. Uh, so I think this is gonna be Pretty easy yeah. until maybe the end. I don't even know what we're in for, to be honest. <laughs> I was gonna ask you how sensitive are you to sour candy, but if you that, love I'm it, not that sensitive. Like warheads are good. Like okay. it's not too bad, you know. I feel yeah. like I have like younger <laughs> brothers, and they make me eat they, so, probably eat all so kinds much. of things. Oh my god, we would have the sour sprays. You'd spray yes. in your mouth. Yep. So I love sour stuff. So okay, I think it's so you might great. do good with what I think I'm gonna do great. You're gonna do great, but you might not want to answer. So ooh, yeah. Then, then we're gonna, gonna see. To, Eat, a, eat another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna get right into it. So level yep. one. Okay. Okay, cute. Super lemon, okay. Okay, ready? Okay. That's good. Okay. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. So your song, Once in a Blue Moon, you have a lyric that says, asking for your number like I'm gonna call you." Yeah. If you like someone, how do you shoot your shot? Compliments. Oh. I'm always the one shooting my shot. This okay, you go first. You, you will shoot I your shot. I always shoot my shot. Um, I love like approaching people and like initiating okay. about it. So I'll go up to people. I'll be like, "Hey, I love your pants. Hey, I love your shoes. I okay. compliment. Butter them up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how you do it. Sourness is gone. Oh, and you didn't even flinch. It's some boring. This shit's good though. I would eat that. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, so I go up to someone. I'd be like, "I love your shoes. I love your top. Yeah. And even girls like to just make friends. And yeah. I think starting with a compliment is the best icebreaker. It is. I think it's it's like also just like nature. And like I usually you, and usually it's a true compliment. I'm not yeah. like just doing <laughs> just it to line. bullshit you. It's like, damn, I really love yeah. your pants. I love your shoes. And then it like breaks the ice. We're good. We can start talking. Yeah. About but if that. you like a guy and you see him in person, you're gonna compliment him. But like then what? I just be like, I love your shoes. And be like, yeah. then I love you. I just be like, <laughs> <laughs> love your shoes. But I, I love, love you. your shoes. Like, love you. Yeah. No, I'd be like, I love your shoes, and I think you're really handsome. And then sometimes oh. I just walk away. Sometimes yeah. you gotta do the walk away. <laughs> And then, and like, then make wait, them wait, wait, shoot their shot. Wait. Yeah, that's like, it's fun. Will you slide in DMs? I'm not a big DM slider. Okay, I'm fine. I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, how about you? <laughs> I feel like you're, uh -huh. you're like a pro, I feel, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I, I need to learn from you. We gotta talk after this. We, you know? I trust, we will be Tell talking how to do it. <laughs> but would you, would you rather meet someone in real life or mm. you're fine meeting them over the internet? Um, like say you haven't met them yet, but you're like, oh, I need him. I love like in real life. I've been really m doing more in real life stuff. Yeah. Um, just because energetically, you can't compare. No. Like online, I feel like we also have such a highlight reel online yeah. that I really don't know if you're the person that I'm like having a crush on. Yeah. You know? Like, it's so true though. We could have a crush on this person, but it's like, wait, I actually don't like your personality. Yeah. <laughs> but you're like, cute. Aesthetically, but I don't know you're great. Or, or just what, whatever you're showing me, the, yeah. the mask that you're showing me is great. But. In person, you can kind of really tell. Intuitively, yeah. you can tell. Like, you know right away you know. if you're gonna like them or not, too. And also just the feeling, how your body feels, and just how you like, even how you're, you know, authentically yourself. Like, if I yeah. can't be myself around someone, I can't I be don't. around them. Yeah. You know, and it's like, this okay. is really good. Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, this one gets you a little bit. If not, five and six will. It's gonna. It's gonna get me for sure. Okay. Me too. Okay. Not bad. You. Okay. Please be sour. So in 2020, oh, it like builds. <laughs> it's like your it hook. Gets you a little, it's like it's like your hook. It's like my hook. <laughs> really hooks you up there. Okay, so the Nash, you sang the national anthem for mm -hmm. the Los Angeles Lakers back in 2020. Mm -hmm. If you could date an athlete right now, you love your athlete. <laughs> <laughs> who would it oh be? Oh my god, I'm dead. But if athletes aren't your type, mm -hmm. who would you date right now? Ooh. And you have to name drop. I'm not not the type. Who would you date? Ooh, you're crazy. I love it. <laughs> Athletes are so cute. Oh my god. Okay, so athletes love could athletes. be your type. Is your type? I just have a. I don't know. I just love people. <laughs> <laughs> I just love people. Oh, I love them all. But I think for an ath I don't know athletes' names. That's my problem. It's okay. like everyone's so cute, and I'm like, what is your name? Do you That's know what team they're on? I don't even know. Oh, there's so many cute ones. Um, I would. I'm gonna go with a musician. I don't know. It's easier. Cause okay. I know my my community. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say Dominic Fike. Okay. Oh my God, I love him. Okay, four. Okay. Before you eat it, this is called pre-show. It's a little okay. game based okay. off you. Yeah. So it's a list of things that are pre-show for you before you mm, perform. I love that. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Pre-show. 
This is the person that I text. Pre-show I text mm. before the show. I think if my mom's not here, my mom. Pre-show drink choice is water okay. and tea. I knew oh, say I am tea. a tea connoisseur, a honey connoisseur. Okay, but I that wanna... help like teas helps singers' voices. Insane. No, like okay. I, I am so crazy about it. So I love. It's called throat coat. Okay, that's, that's okay. what it's called. Um, and I drink it every day. I literally feel it in my throat if I don't drink it. That's crazy. Every day, it just like smooth. Yeah. Smooth Once a day. Once a day. Yeah. And how many before a show? Just one. Last show I did last week, I drank like three in one day. Okay, yeah. Because it was just, it just extra dry. Yeah. Because LA is super dry, you know, and I yeah. feel like venues tend to be really dry for some reason. I don't know why. I'm like, I think maybe because musicians and like instruments yeah. can't be, you know, humidified. But I always bring like a, hum I try to bring a humidifier with me, but tea. That's crazy. You have a humidifier with you. Like a little baby one. Yeah. It's cute. Oh. But um, yeah, throat coat and then honey. Pre-show meal. Ooh, I think I try to keep it really simple and okay. bland because if I go too spicy, then I have like heartburn. Yeah. And then if I go too like acidic, same thing. So yeah. I try to keep it something easy, like grilled chicken or like tacos, okay. like not too spicy. Like usually grilled chicken with like spinach. Yeah. Free show wardrobe. before show or you could like or wear on the show, wear on the show if I there's think accessories for sure. okay yeah and I was like my rings my necklaces yeah. go to I don't take these two necklaces off these top always two. on always shower everything these which two. one these two babies right here these are okay my faves. Oh my they don't God. come off they don't and you're a silver girly I am I've been a silver girl ride or die since I was little I love yeah. it and last one one person that you hope texts you before a show and I'm Ooh. meaning spicy, like oh who do you God. want you're to date, so, or date you? You are so funny. <laughs> who do you want to text you before a show? I don't like. <laughs> I know you thought of somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you're so dumb. Um, <laughs> uh, like, I don't know, like a, like a crush. I'm, what, I'm not dropping any names in here. Okay. What? I'm gonna have to have another one. I think I'm gonna take another one. <laughs> I've been really good with my questions. I've been pretty. You've good. been great until then. I'm gonna try another flavor. Okay, I'll. I'll so you're not going to name drop? No, I'll plead the fifth. Okay. What does it start with? <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm eating candy. <laughs> you don't have to uh -uh. eat. You don't have to. Okay. No. Well, sometimes, you know, you just forget and you just say it on accident. <laughs> you're trying uh, to get me there. I'll find it on Instagram. Do you, you follow so them? Girl, I, I, you, you won't find them. They don't I, have Instagram. I'm literally <laughs> I'm not the max people I follow on Instagram. Oh, you, <laughs> Do you are? Know there's a max. Is it 7,000 people? 75. Why are you even doing that? Because I'm a crazy girl. I don't know. How do you even see posts of people you it's, like? It's bothering you. Yeah. I love the, you're, I'm, you're, I told you I'm straight facing it. I'm not going to let it bother me. You're going to see. Ooh. <laughs> so I won't find the person. Mm -mm. You do follow them. Maybe. You follow 7,000 people, you follow them. This one. Okay. And I really hope you think it's that Ooh, one. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got to this to my brother. I live with my brother, so I want to like. Oh, we'll give you something to take yeah. home. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what a man. Okay. Who is days like this about? Mm. And drop their name. Stop. No. Okay. I'm going to eat another one. Uh-uh. Oh, my God. Wait. Who is once in a blue moon about? It really wasn't about. Lie. It really, it really wasn't. It was more just like, I don't. I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was Days Like This about? Who is it about? About my ex. What's your ex's name? I can't say that. Okay. Okay. I can't, I can't say a name. That's okay, that's, that's fine. You just have to eat again. We don't want to hurt people's feelings. But either. it's about your ex. So we can put two and two together. I never posted him. You'll never know. Damn it. I'm asking your mom. You can ask him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clip his phone. With him. I don't want to do that. That's, that's not good. But why did you, um, <laughs> why did you write that about him? Uh, it was a real feeling. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, no, yeah. I, this is this burns. Okay. Wait, can I just answer it really quick? <laughs> yes, you can. Um, but yeah, You're so I wrote time. that. I wrote that while I was in the relationship. I actually played it for him. Oh, not good. Then did you break up with him? <laughs> and then I broke up. <laughs> you are so bad. I You're know. a bad person. I know. I know. I know. I know. But like, babe. By the way, I have a song. Yes. You have a song? No, idea? you. You're saying to him, like, babe, I have a song. Oh, yes, yeah. And I, we're breaking up. I, no, I didn't say it all together. I just oh, played yeah. it to him, and then the next day, I was just, <laughs> boom. 
bye. It was bad. It was not good. It was, yeah. I regret the way I handled that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the best, most yeah. mature decision or like the way it all came yeah. about. But I played them days like this. I played, they actually, I played him days like this a couple months before I broke up with him. Oh. And I have another song that I played him the about day him. I broke up. Oh. That one's even worse. So the whole like, girl, EP is about him? Oh, it is. Okay. It is. Cool. <laughs> cool. It is, yeah. It's like pretty much the stages of grief after a breakup. Okay. But it's me breaking up with him, so it's just a different perspective. I feel like a lot of breakup albums are breaking, about, yeah, getting about your heart being broken. heartbroken. Yeah. I'm like, I did the breaking up. So I'm yeah. low-key like, causing my own pain because I was the one that, you know, yeah. just ended it. And just learning to let go. I think that's the hardest thing to do. Do you guys talk? No. Are you blocked? Mm-hmm. Well, I block him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Would you ever unblock him? No. I'm like, mm. Maybe. Would you ever get back with him? No. Does he want you back? Who knows? Probably. Probably. But I'm not. Ooh. That's was really, that sour? Oh, that was good. Oh, you're good. You're on your last level. You're, you're getting all the tea. Shh. I am. <laughs> it was, I'm scared. Okay, let's go. Kay. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Ow! This is really painful. Yeah, yeah. If you were to write a song Ooh. about something in your life right now, because it was, say, traumatic maybe, mm -hmm. or very impactful, yep. but no one knows you went through it, mm -hmm. you went through it yourself, internet doesn't know, maybe your parents don't know, mm -hmm. brother doesn't know, mm -hmm what would you write about and what would some of the lyrics be wow <laughs> oh my god Woo! do you remember the question yeah traumatic okay this is what i got <laughs> you picked trauma. up trauma i'm mad at experience this right now this yes. is trauma this is you'd write a song about fuck her up be like damn my tongue is on fire <laughs> <laughs> i can't feel my tongue um love that one you know oof i gotta do the pucker up like theme song you can do it yeah i'll I'm put it in so every down. video i'm so down and I'm gonna give I you a would. ring with the pucker logo, and you can this, wear every like, show. On a ring. I'll get you. We can get a tattoo. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'll get. We should get a matching tattoo. I'm I want pucker on the inside of my lip. Ooh, pucker! I or like. like yeah. Ooh. Maybe like up on the up. Pucker. Lip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Pucker it. Pucker and then arrow. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you said. I think a lot of the most traumatic things I've written about because that's cool. like my outlet. Out. Uh, out. Yeah. What is it? Outlet. Outlet. Not outlook. Outlet is like writing, it's very like cathartic and cathartic. I can't speak. Yeah, I was like, do you, do you oh, need no. another one? <laughs> no, it's really therapeutic. That's a better word. Yeah. We'll do a synonym. Um, it's really therapeutic to like write and I go to my piano and I go to the studio and everyone yeah. there, they know all my stuff. Like they know me. <laughs> they know everything. <laughs> they know everything. If you want the tea, you can I was just like, if I want the tea, I need to go talk to <laughs> go them. Go to the studio and just ask them. Be a fly on the wall so, and you'll hear all with the off. tea. You'll, you'll hear it all. Um, I think, traumatic moment that I did write a song about but no one really knows about it because I've not publicly like posted about it or anything yeah it was my like mentor who passed away okay. during in 2020 um, like during COVID and everything and he was like he's my best friend I've known him since I was seven years old so he taught me like how to play piano and how to write my first song and that's so cute. like the structure of a song yeah and that's when I wrote my first song and and he was just like my best friend do another one my mouth would start bleeding like my tongue would be Definitely. So you don't want to do another one? I don't know. Should we? Yeah. Should we both? I think we should. Oh, we both have to do it? <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Okay, you go first. Ew. So, who do you have a crush on right now? Dude. <laughs> You're so You're not going to answer the question. No. Okay. I just wanted to ask. 